just got done eating my lunch. What? You don't drive a three-wheeler up your steps either? Oh, you're missing out. Let's get to it. Alright, that's enough horse playing around. We got stuff to do. I'm gonna leave that right there so it's not out of the way. I need to feed the Gina. There you go. Big plans today. I have some hauling I need to do, so I'm gonna take the white tractor in to the dealership, train it off, and I'm actually gonna do hit two birds with one stone, basically. So I'm gonna pull in the white tractor, then I have a demo coming to the farm. A little demo, so uh it's going to be green versus red. And we are going to be head to head. I'm going to see which one's better. The ultimate decision. It's going to happen today. So I know a lot of you probably don't want me to sell old white here. But honestly, I mean, we're not using these tracks. Hardly any of this. I'm going to keep the sassy massy, but... uh. We're not really using the 4050. We might use that as a haying tractor. So I'll probably keep that around. But I'm really thinking the 4755 is kind of, you know, outlived its purpose. With the Magnum around, I mean, what's, what are we going to use it for? We're going to use, much rather use one of the other ones. I know it's a front wheel sis, but uh, we got the big articulating Alice Chalmers over there. We don't, we don't need that start this up for the last time on the old farm here oh put in ford gotta load this up yeah we didn't really use this too much we did have it on the planner last year which it ran all right but uh i just uh now that we have outlived our open cab driving it's time to uh take it in and trade it in hopefully pick up our demo all right stay on there old white we'll get over into town get this uh hopefully get our demonstration loaded get back here lickety split all right we just got here i know we unloaded the white parked it over there behind the shed oh man they got kind of a nice little international lineup here beautiful so this is our demonstration. We got this uh, Case International uh, 900 Cyclone Planter. So we're going to get this to work. One of the first center box fill. Well, this isn't really center. This is side by side box vacuum fill planters out there. So we're going to try this out and it is going to go head to head with the green. It, the deer in the case are going at it the deer and the eagle if you wanted to see it case used to be case ih eagle i believe it was bald eagle i don't know i don't remember i kind of remember something like that i think it was on their old symbol but we got all these old internationals oh man which one they said just pick one of them to help load it dealer actually came out and said there's no way you're going to get that planter on that trailer. He thinks it is too wide. Is it too wide? So we got to get that tire. So that's one of the drive tires right there on the planter at the minimum. Well, that's a drive tire too. Ooh. So both of them tires that's where all the weight's at. Has to be on the trailer. Man, if you look at this trailer, this trailer is not t teeny. I mean, it does have uh, double axle duels. Tandem axle trailer. I mean, it is not a... It's a wide boy trailer. Let's just say that. Uh, I have no idea if we're going to get that on. We're going to try, though. All right, we are going to use the Farm L... 70 766 primarily because uh it's the
the first one and it's open station, it's easy to drive. Why not? Probably should have planned this out a little bit better because, uh... Oops. Backed up a little bit. Pin in. Alright, we are all hooked up. Oh, man. I definitely could have parked that trailer at a better position. Ugh. That's a hard turn to get right right there. Oh, no. Nope. Overshot that one. Not even close, Stevio. You fail. Here's your sign. All right, let's get this nice and lined up. Hopefully I can get this trailer. Uh, uh oh, don't think it's going up it. I don't see it going up the ramp. Uh, we got a problem, Houston. Nope. Dang it, I hate it when I'm wrong. So, uh, yeah. That, uh, planter isn't going on the trailer. It's not a big deal, so I want to pick up a few pallets of seed. So I'll pick up a few pallets of seed, drive the old, uh, Cummins back here, hook the planter up. I'll just pull it home with the Cummins, I guess. Alright, Jake the Tank hooked us up. We got some fertilizer and some seed. Now we just have to get our planter back to our farm so we can actually have a plant off. Uh, is that how you say it? I almost said it the wrong way, but uh, plant off. All right, so we made our second trip to town. Picked up a planter, finally taking it home. I, I thought for demonstrations, they haul it to you. They set it up for you. Isn't that usually how it goes? Why am I doing this? Oh man, you just saw that in a rear view mirror. Oh man, there is a big storm. Look at that. Ooh, that is not pretty. We are definitely gonna have to get some uh, planting done. Ooh, we got some nasty looking clouds coming over that horizon. Uh, good thing we will have uh, two 12 rows going, so 24 rows of all of planting goodness. Uh, I still plan on getting the... I don't know, you guys are going to have to place your bets. Who do you think is going to plant better? So there's a couple things we are going to be uh, testing here. One, we won't be able to really test until the corn starts coming out of the ground. One is singulation, basically, uh, or uh, no doubles, no uh, skips, no nothing like that. And two is speed, convenience, uh, ease of use. There's a lot of things. I did plant this field, so we do have one field of corn. Uh, we are planting all corn, so we just have two more fields to go. Uh, other than our other fields, so two more fields of corn. I plan on planting my soybeans as double crops, so I will, won't will be planting early soybeans, so there will be late soybeans this year. Alright, so that is finally done. It took way too long. I tell you, man, you think a task is going to take you 15 minutes, then you spend two hours at it. You don't even know where your time gone. So I'm going to have to unhitch this uh, quickie. Quickie. This quickie isn't going to be a quickie anymore. So unhitch this quickie loader here. Uh, man, look at that grapple hook. I would hate to hit one of them things on the top of the head. Ouch. That would leave a big hole. All right. Uh, there we go. hook up to our new case 900 here got that all hooked up now I just need to put the monitor in the cab should be ready to go so uh, both of these are liquid so we can not put some starter uh, fertilizer down by both so that'll be another thing we're testing how does it do with fertilizer so this is a seed placement roll seed box and this is more of a vacuum planter so 
Uh, we're going to basically be trying two. So not only are we trying out red against green or deer against eagle, case I H eagle, uh, we're testing out two different types of planters. There we go, both of them together. So we still have to fill up these with seed. I believe we are good. So basically both these planters are fairly new. The John Deere is new. I think it's a 94 and the planter is brand new. Ooh, this is a Cycle Air 950. It's not a 900, it's a 950. I did not know that. Okay. So this is basically the seed goes in the tube all the way down by vacuum, by air. Has a little bit different of a fertilize applicator. If you see, the fertilize applicator just goes right out the back of the closing wheels. These closing wheels are a little bit different on this planter too. If you see, this is the common closing wheels on almost every other planter you see. Case likes using the fat tanks. I. I I think that is one, uh, I'm going to say that's one problem against case. I, I think these are, you're able to easily adjust and, uh, I think they do a better job, these closing wheels, but, uh, we, we will see. We'll see how our C placement is and our, what we actually get for a stand. And this is basically going to be the ultimate competition. All right. So first off, we are going to get the John Deere to, uh, I suppose a better fold up. Probably might be a good idea. Uh, our house yard, it's. We could probably get away with not folding up. I mean, we are just going down the road here. I'm gonna get these down the road, get some seed over there to the field. Uh, so, the tractors, we're gonna kinda be tractoring off too. But it's a little bit of an unfair advantage to the case side. They have uh, more horsepower. The 8100 uh, doesn't have the same horsepower the 7140 had. So this is uh, both tractors are stock. No uh, tinkering with anything was done to the computer to get them to put out some more horses nothing like that was done all right we're gonna leave that old girl running there I did go a little bit into the field just to see uh, make sure I didn't hear any bearings that might be out or anything like that we're gonna get the case over here little Timmy is gonna run the case it's gonna be a uh, case versus John Deere Timmy just fell in love with the 7140. I don't know which tractor he actually likes more. So Tim, Timmy did all of the farming, everything with the Alice Chalmers here. So uh, we didn't do any of the disking. All we did was the chiseling, and he basically uh, he was jobbing it out there. Impressive. But we will fold this up, fold this thing up here. Ooh, I might have to pull it a little bit ahead. Don't want to hit anything on the back of there. And get this over to the field. Get the old sassy massy and our trailer load of seed. And hopefully we'll fill these up the old fashioned way by hand, by seed bag. All right, so that's the last of the seed here we need. Get in this. This is extremely dangerous. I, I get the weeby jeezies every time I go underneath these uh, the lifts. I do it really quick. Just got to slide in there quick. Got to be real quick. But it is pretty uh, efficient when you have this little kid steer like this. Ooh, stay in there. Yeah, a little, uh, the sassy is being uh, the massy is being extra sassy today and kind of jumping around. Oop, wrong gear again. Yep. I think I'm going to put this right over here. Uh, lift this and put it back onto the trailer. Ooh. See, I, sa I have so many types of seed over here. It's hard for me to keep track of all this stuff. I think I'll just uh, set it here for right now. 
Yeah. Get away from that thing. All right, so uh, green or red? What do we start out with? Hmm. Hmm. Green is already in the field, so we, we won't uh, let it. Basically, uh, Timmy, he wants to run the red, so we're, we're going to let him run it. I think I might get into it at least a little bit. I don't know. All right, I think we're planting now. Oh, yeah. Planting away. Ooh, we're going at a pretty fast clip here. Uh, I think we're going to go a little ways... Uh, yeah, it's probably plenty long. We gotta go check this, and I have a, I have one of the rolls, roll four. Roll four seems to be giving me. It's buzzing at me. What the heck's wrong with roll four? Are you serious? Stupid little pebble. Little pebble got down by the seed plate and just causing a havoc. Huh. Hate them stupid pebbles. Anybody else have them problems? Always having pebbles. Lose so much money because a little pebble got in my seed grill. And I don't plant it doesn't plant the corn then. Alright, I I think our depth's good. Uh the the moisture down in the ground seems good. I think we are good to keep planting. Alright, we are going. Oh there, there's little Timmy. Man, that case, an international is blowing the smoke over there. You see that? Can't handle the deer. I don't know. It, it, it blows a little smoke. That thing is loud. Like a straight pipe muffler loud. That thing is blaring. I, even when I have my tunes on, I can hear it on the side of this uh, field. I think I might put a regular muffler back on that thing, quiet it down a little bit. I mean, everyone likes a straight pipe until you have to be behind it all day long. Then it gets a little bit old. No one wants to have to have earplugs in the whole time while you're planting. Uh, something's wrong with my row markers. Doesn't look like it's giving me the best uh, indication here. All right, it might be a mistake, but I'm not going to put that row markers down. Uh, Timmy, you can hurry up. I mean, somebody's past it. Yeah, get out of my way, Timmy. You got planting to do. You're, you're holding back the deer. There we go. All right, we're going to make our passing move here. Yeah. Well, I tell you one thing. Well, maybe not. Yep. Are we gonna be able to cut them off? We are going a little bit farther. Oh, uh, looky there. Yep. Yep. Oh. 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 Yep. There you go, Timmy. Not today. So that's one star for speed of planting goes to the deer. I think that is confirmed now. So most likely I'm going to finish up this side of the field. Timmy's going to finish up the other side of the field. It's not going to take us long at all to get this all nice and ready. Because it's go time. Okay, I'm going to try to sneak across the ditch right here. This might be a mistake. All right, it made it all right. We are all right. Wasn't near as deep as what it looked like getting into it. Eh. Should we wait for Timmy? Any time today, Timmy. So Timmy's going to drive the John Deere, and I'm going to be driving the case, just because I want to try out that case, too. Can't do all deer, even though I, I am a little... Uh, I, I think I'm gonna miss a deer. This this is a very easy tractor to drive. Let's just say that. So, uh, I'm gonna put this a pretty high rating for uh, tractor comfort. I got Timmy to take off there. Plant straight, Timmy. Watch out for them poles. Oh man, that 
so nervous when he drives. We got a few little indentions to get around here, but we don't got a lot to plant. This is going to be our last field, unless we do any custom planting. Don't know if that'll need to happen or not. Kind of doubt it, to be honest. You guys want to check in on Timmy, see what he's doing? I see Timmy's pink shirt. I know, I know it. Timmy, he's definitely a man that can wear some pink, but uh, I still think it's funny. I giggle a little bit. I know, I'm, I'm retarded. Gotta laugh at them type of things. I think it's funny at least. Uh, we are basically on our last pass. Uh oh. Timmy is having some problems turning again. Oh uh, man. Well, I hope he. Hopefully he's alright. You didn't wrap around that pole, did you? Alright, we had to wait for Timmy to basically uh, figure out what his problem was over there. I don't know what it was. He had a problem with the pole, got close to it, made sure he didn't. I don't know what, but uh, didn't see any damage. And we get the last pass of this field, I think it is at least. Got one. This is it. No more. Corn planting. Done for the year, as long as this stuff comes up. So, the real competition will be when this corn comes up. Which planter is better? So, just remember, this planter planted on this side, on which side of the field. But thank you all for watching. Timmy Do Circles. And I will see you later thank you all for watching like comment and share and subscribe see you next time timmy's got talent you see this backward circles timmy's a man make sure you don't forget like the video